Hey team, welcome back to another video. Today I am up at the local reservoir um, and I'm indicating nymphing. Uh, basically, it's um, oh, right here. Right there. Indicator nymphing, pretty much you just got a wee bit of, um, bit of foam or uh, I use a New Zealand strike indicator and then um, to a couple nymphs and basically you use that indicator as um, a method of when the fish takes your flies that indicator goes under the surface so it's pretty much like float fishing but, but fly fishing version. So basically, the technique today is just stalking the edges. I've seen a lot of fish cruising the edges um, and not so much rising. They're all kind of just feeding off the bottom. So yeah, really what I want to be doing is staying as far away from the bank as possible and spotting the fish and then getting trying to get a good cast and but yeah, technique wise, that's all really. This is a good bay here. Normally the fish cruise right along the edges and eat like snails. And I think there's crayfish in here as well. But yeah, just looking for fish to catch. Got him. Got a brown. <laughs> brown on the fly. Out the rizzy. Been working the banks for a while, just fishing nymphs. I've seen this few browns cruising the edges. Haven't really had the opportunity to. Have a go at a rainbow yet, and yes, got a brown on the fly out the res. There's not a lot of browns in here, there's more rainbows. I've seen this guy cruising the edge, put a wee nymph to him, and he took it. That's awesome. Gotta get this net off. Somewhere to land them. That's awesome. It's not the biggest fish, but still, fish is a fish. Might be able to get them here. No, she's pretty slippery. Been having a crack at this other brown on the other side for a while now and hasn't really done a hell of a lot haven't been able to get him to take but I've seen him just cruising right on the edge just taking a wee snail pattern I think can't remember what fly it is but this is cool I've only ever caught two browns out of here and I've caught hundreds of rainbows from here it's pretty cool to actually get a brown on the fly and they're pretty hard to actually trick because this place gets lots of pressure so to get a brown you're doing pretty good oh there's another one right here that one's a rainbow though It's my first fish of the day actually, haven't even hooked one, it's the first one I've hooked. 
Oh, they got somewhere where I can land them. There's another one here as well. Another rainbow. With that net. Yes. Mr. Brown. Woohoo. Beautiful fish. That is awesome. I'm happy as with that. Beautiful wee fish. Here it is. There we go. Put him back in the net. That's awesome. I'm so happy that I caught a brown on the fly. Especially out of here. It's all revived. There we have it guys, it's the brownie, off he goes, woohoo, now that is sight fishing at its best, just a bit of a run through what the gear I'm using to spot that fish, I've got my tonic mo glasses, really good in low light conditions, and then gear wise, got the airflow Creek, five weight four piece, and then I've got my lamps and liquid um, fly reel spool with super dry line. And I'm really happy with catching that fish. Never caught a brown on the fly out of here, and finally cracked it. Seen him, it was hard up against the edge, and you only get really one opportunity at a brown, especially in here. So. Yeah, I'm just going to go do some more stalking along the edges and hopefully get another. So currently I'm stalking a fairly decent sized brown. It's just cruising the edges and eating snails, stuff like that. Done so many casts to them and changed up flies. Got a little pheasant tail on and then to like a little like midge kind of thing. Yes, he swims along these edges. Making sure I keep a little bit of distance behind him. If you come in and check my fly out before. I think I've lost sight of him. There you go. Might have kept going this way. Come right in and check my fly out before. And then kind of pretty much like just ignored it. It's a smart fish this one though. He's a lot smarter than that other one that I caught. This is the one that I've been having a go at for ages. Even my mate Lucas who's like way better fly fisherman than me. Can't even catch him. I'm going to keep stalking him. See if I can hook up to him. Because this might be a long process. So there's that brown trout cruising along here. Got the same flies still on. Just gonna put a couple casts to them. He's coming along here. 
a couple casts and we'll see if I know him. He's feeding pretty good, he's just eating stuff off the bottom, so. Got him. I finally got this brown on. Finally got him on. Took so long, about a hundred casts, and I finally got him. Yes. Awesome. A really nice fish too. taken so long to finally get this fish I've been stalking him up and down the bank for about an hour and I finally got him to take a take a fly he's taken the bottom one as well same one as the other fish <coughs> <coughs> he's a lot better conditioned fish this one as well oh this is awesome what's the odds of getting two browns in a day I've tried catching this fish for like a year now and I haven't been able to do it and I've finally hooked them. Can I land them? Yes! I got him! Oh my god! I got him! Yes! Oh this is like the best fly fishing day I've had in ages. He's not the biggest fish, but that is well earned. I cannot believe that. We'll take him over here. The reason why I don't have my GoPro going is because it's literally been like, oh, I've been stalking this fish for, for like at least an hour. I'm not even kidding. And I finally caught him. Two browns in a day. That is nuts. Oh, I'm so happy with that. He's a beautiful fish too. It's a really nice fish. I've never caught two browns in one day out of here. Well, that shows the condition on them. Stunning fish. <laughs> I finally caught you. It has been like a year I've been trying to catch that fish. Woohoo! What an epic day. Two browns out of a reservoir full of rainbows. That is crazy. Right guys, that's it for me today. I'm calling it a day. It's starting to rain and I think the weather's supposed to turn to crap, so call it quits. Time to go home and edit this video. I really just want to say thank you to all the viewers lately and subscribers, all the nice comments. It's been really good, especially when I was in hospital. So there's you guys that get me back out on the water and I get out there and make more videos for you guys. So I just want to say thanks for that. I really appreciate it all. So thanks for watching this video, guys. It's been a blast filming it. Two nice brown trout to the net. It's been really great. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. And always, tight lines.